Letterly, and today we are going to quick code. Okay, we talked about the magic E syllable yesterday, so let's review. The magic E syllable is when you have a silent E in the syllable. You have a vowel, a consonant, and then a silent E. So, in pine cone, first you dot your vowels, which is done, and then you have to figure out how many syllables. We see there's a break where pine, oops, sorry, pine cone, so there's a break right here. Then we have to figure out what type of syllable, and this is a magic E syllable. So the first vowel, so that's long vowel name, so we see this is a Mr. I, so, and there's a consonant and a silent E at the end, we see that pattern. So now we know that's a magic E syllable, so we put an E under there, and then we need to mark our vowels. So we put a straight line across our long vowel, and then we're gonna put a slash through that silent E and put a arrow pointing to that long eye to remind us of it. And you do the same for cone. Okay, so these are the patterns, okay? So you see A, consonant, silent E at the end, I, consonant, silent E at the end, E, consonant E. Just like in cake, okay? Here's, remember when we code, we're gonna code next. So long A, Mr. A gets a straight line over it, slash through the silent E and put an arrow back to that long vowel. Here we go, let's do some together. Okay, state, state. Remember, first thing you do is mark your vowels, A, and E, then we want to do our brackets because there are not any prefixes or suffixes or constant digraphs in this word. When we say state, that is one syllable, okay? Then we need to label that syllable, right? And when we, we notice that there is a silent E at the end and there's also a long A consonant silent E. So we see that pattern. So we know that it's an E for magic E. So let's, now we need to label our vowels. So state, A, Mr. A, that's a long A, okay? State, that's a silent E. And then we put an arrow over to remind of us, us of the long vowel that makes us silent. Okay, pause it if you need to, to write that down. We're gonna go to the next one. Life, life. So first step, let's do this together, is mark your vowels, and then we're gonna sit, do the, the syllables, life. It's one syllable. And then we're going to put, if it's an open, close, or magic E syllable. So when we see life, we hear that this is a silent E and this is a long vowel, life, I, Mr. I. So we want to label our syllable, okay, with the E. Then we're going to label our, encode our vowels. So this is a, long vowel, then we put a line through our silent E and an arrow back over to remind us of that long vowel. Pause that if you need to write that down. Okay, the next word we're gonna do together is wave, wave. So let's mark our vowels. Wave is one syllable. Okay, we need to know 
label our syllable now, we see that pattern, A, consonant, you know, the silent E at the end, wave. So now we're going to label that, the magic E syllable, mark our vowels, long A, Mr. A, okay, put a line through our silent E, and then put an arrow back to that long A, okay. Good job. Pause it if you need to. Next word is alike, alike. So alike, we're going to dot our vowels. Okay. Then we are gonna do our syllables alike. So we have two. Okay. And then we need to label our um, syllables. So this is an open syllable like we have learned before. And this is going to be our magic E syllable. You have the I consonant silent E. Let's label our vowels. Okay, this A is a schwa, because that doesn't have that A sound. And then the next one is our I, long I, Mr. I. Put a line through our silent letter, our vowel E, put a line over to the I. Okay, and let's say the word again, alike. And the last one we're going to do together is escape. So we is it? Need to write on it. Okay, mark our vowels. Okay, let's do our syllables. Escape, escape. Our syllables are E S S K. Okay, then we need to mark our syllables. So this is a closed syllable, and this is our magic E syllable. And let's now we need to code and mark our vowels. Escape, escape is more of a schwa sound, okay? And then this is our long A with our silent E. Put the arrow back over to our long vowel. So I hope this helped you understand the quick coding for the magic E syllable. Please let your teacher know if you have any questions and complete the rest of the coding and submit it to your teacher.